Well, this is pretty big news. I'm surprised that not more people are talking about this. It's even hit mainstream news. But you know how people are more interested in the latest political jargon. Check this out. Newsweek, alien energy collecting megastructures may have been detected around stars. So we're talking Dyson spheres here, folks. You remember when that was first predicted as a possibility for a type two or type three civilization that could actually harness the power of their sun, of their stars. Real quick, check out these statistics. Gold, it's gone up about 81% the past five years. The past 12 months, almost 20%. Central banks are ditching the US dollar and US treasuries and purchasing gold by the tons. Now there's obviously never any guarantees, so you follow what the money funders are doing, what the MFers are doing. So what's the good news? Well, many predict gold is just getting started. The UBS even said it was gonna go up to $5,000. Now that's pretty awesome news if you ask me. Noble Gold Investments, their phones are ringing off the hook. It appears that everybody wants to protect their retirement with gold and silver right now. You can do the same. Noble Gold Investments can help you secure some gold to protect your future. From day one, you will work with a dedicated all-American expert. Whether you're a beginner, or an experienced investor, Noble Gold Investments will make sure you get all the help that you need. This month, Noble Gold Investments will give you a free one quarter ounce solid gold coin to add to your collection if you open up an account with Noble Gold Investments. Find out how to qualify. Their number is 1-877-646-5347. Go to leakprojectgold.com, get the free eBooks, let them know Rex from Leak Project sent you, and check out Noble Gold Investments. Com. Now is a better time than ever to convert your 401 or IRA, unless it was last week or last month. Give them a call. You'll be glad you did. Now let's get back to the presentation. Data collected from 5 million stars with various telescopes. So buckle up, Buttercup. This is amazing. I'm going to share a few articles with you. Uh, let's get into this one first. Newsweek. Seven different stars, to be exact, so far in our galaxy may show signs of being contained within Dyson spheres. Megastructures that are considered to be a part of type two civilizations that actually harness radiation energy. And this is new research just discovered. These stars are all low mass M dwarf stars, smaller than our sun and within a thousand light years of our planet. This is according to the new paper in the Journal of Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. The name of the paper is Project Hephaestos, Dyson Sphere Candidates from Gaia, DR3, 2Mass, and Wise. Now, according to the article from Newsweek, let's go back to this article, the light from these stars showed a strange spike in infrared wavelengths known as infrared excess emissions, IEEs, which researchers associate with the potential existence of such alien megastructures. Now, after analyzing the optical NIR and MIR, photometry of about 5 million different sources, we found seven apparent M dwarfs exhibiting an infrared excess of unclear nature that is compatible with our Dyson sphere model. And that's what the researchers put together in this paper. A Dyson sphere is a megastructure proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960. It involves surrounding a star with a vast array of solar energy collectors or habitats to capture a significant portion of the energy that is being emitted from the stars, such as the star's output. Now, a structure could provide energy far beyond what any civilization on Earth currently consumes. But with the amount of artificial intelligence and the power of artificial intelligence and artificial general intelligence and the future of AGI, we are as a community, as a collective, working on huge projects for enormous amounts of energy because we don't have the energy right now to power these exuberant amounts of artificial intelligence algorithms that could far outpace human thought in its current form, according to the experts. So, this structure, this Dyson sphere, could definitely create enough power for many technological feats. Now, these structures could come in different forms. You could have Dyson swarms of small individual solar collectors, which would orbit the star, or a shell, like a Dyson shell, which would comprise a solid shell completely encasing the star. 
of the two, the Dyson Swarm is considered the most feasible, obviously because of engineering challenges and the amount of resources you would need to actually surround a star with a solid shell. So researchers think that if a Dyson sphere did exist, we should be able to spot them. That makes great sense. As heat from the star would cause the solar collectors of the sphere to reach immense temperatures, releasing infrared radiation that we could observe. Starlight harvesting could, in principle, result in different observational signatures that may be detected using existing telescopes, the researchers wrote in the paper. These signatures include optical dimming of the host star due to direct obscuration and waste heat emission from the absorbing structure. Consequently, searching for anomalous infrared beacons of the sky has become an alternative to traditional communication-based searches for technologically advanced civilizations. One of the advantages of searches based on Dysonian signatures is that it does not rely on the willingness of other civilizations to contact us. That makes sense. So researchers are looking for IEEs in the spectra of stars as a sign that a Dyson sphere could be present. Now, according to the paper, researchers used a computer program to analyze the light from 5 million different stars across our galaxy. They found seven with these IE signatures that make them prime candidates to have Dyson spheres. There's another non-peer-reviewed paper from March that also analyzed 5 million stars in our galaxy, and they found 53 potential IEE candidates. Now, currently, it's unclear if these two studies use the same data set of stars, and these IEE signatures could be caused by other phenomena also, such as disks of debris around the stars or nebulas. However, this new evidence suggests a strong possibility of intelligent life hidden in our cosmos, and it will spur further research into these Dyson spheres. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. So links will be in the video description box. Let's take a look at the paper now. Here's the paper. So, I mean, this is a pretty um, prestigious publication. And the search for extraterrestrial intelligence is currently being pursued using multiple techniques and in different wavelength bands. Dyson spheres megastructures that could be constructed by advanced civilizations to harness the radiation energy of their host stars represent a potential techno signature that in principle may be hiding in the public data already that's pretty cool so this public data that's already collected as part of large astronomical surveys in this study we present a comprehensive search for partial dyson spheres by analyzing optical and infrared observations from gaia to mass and WISE. We develop a pipeline that employs multiple filters to identify potential candidates and reject interlopers in a sample of 5 million objects, which incorporates a convolutional neural network to help identify confusion in WISE data. Finally, the pipeline identifies seven candidates deserving of further analysis. All of these objects are M dwarfs for which astrophysical phenomena cannot easily account for the observed infrared excess emission. Figure three. These two images exemplify each category's appearance, the nebular on the left-hand side panel and non-nebular on the right-hand side. Both images are normalized. Each image corresponds to a squared region in the sky with a side of 9.65 arc min right here. Figure eight is the color magnitude diagram displaying the distribution of our candidates in big circles. Small dots represent Gaia DR3 stars within 300 PC. The color scale represents the relative density of stars. So you can see like we've got a ton of stars here and here are the potential candidates. In these groups right here. Now, this is also a very interesting article that I found on Microsoft Start or MSN.com. Scientists are working on creating compact handheld nuclear reactors in a bid to attract aliens to Earth, says an expert, Kevin Knuth, a physics professor at the University of Albany, New York. He suggests this experimental concept is already being built as researchers ramp up efforts to bring extraterrestrial beings to our planet. Wow. So yeah, you know, some handheld nukes. Why not? I mean, you got the Trinity 
blast and several other nuclear tests that appeared to um, cause a phenomena of UFOs. So check this out. According to the Daily Star, we all know how credible this paper is. A top professor has gone public to admit that a colleague of his has already created a handheld mini nuclear reactor with the aim of trying to lure aliens and UFOs to Earth. Hmm. What could possibly go wrong? So according to Kevin Newth, professor of physics at the University of Albany, United States, the experimental idea is already being created as Boffins ramps up efforts to bring extraterrestrial beings to our planet. And in an idea that could, couldn't go wrong, no matter how hard they try, the professor told an audience that the handheld mini nukes are already being patented. He said, we're trying to figure out how we can lure UFOs and work out how to make contact. <laughs> yeah, why not? We settle on the fact that UFOs have an interest in and an ability to detect nuclear weapons, some of them underground, some of them in bunkers or storage depots. How do they do this? Are they using neutrinos, which are already really hard to detect, or gamma rays? We don't know, but my colleague has developed a new technology, which is basically a handheld lithium-powered nuclear fission reactor, which he is now patenting. The idea is to get out and power our UFO-observing equipment with our, the nuclear reaction, and maybe these guys will detect it and come down and find out why those crazy monkeys are up to what these crazy monkeys are up to this time. And can we get some imagery or some data? That's our plan. Brilliant. So the video clip of the claim was filmed at the Seoul Foundation in California earlier this year. However, the expert went into no further detail, and it appears as if the comment was made as a throwaway story at the end of his talk as he began the claim with the phrase, just one quick thing. So Avi Loeb is also trying to find evidence of UFOs with his Galileo project search, um, and they did that last year. I find it pretty cool. So what do you think? What could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, check us out on Patreon. We just did an incredible interview with Leo Gazami. Uh, just did an awesome interview with John Hogue the other day. I've got Sheldon Moore coming up. I've got Christopher O'Brien. I have some awesome, uncensored, unedited, long format interviews that you definitely want to listen to over on Patreon. So we could use your support also and really appreciate you. Have a beautiful day. Be excellent to each other and be the change the world needs to see. It starts with you. Amen.